Hello friends. In today's session, we will cover all the remaining topics related to mobility classes. Those are not part of collection framework. We will start with resource bundle, list resource bundle and property resource bundle classes. The Java Util package includes three classes that aid in the internationalization that is worldwide usage of your program. The first is abstract class, first is resource bundle. It tells the methods that enable you to manage a collection of local sensitive resources. Okay, such as strings that are used to label the user interface elements in your program. So it will manage the collection of local sensitive resources, likewise strings. Okay, and those strings will label the user interface elements in your program. You can define two or more sets of translated strings that support various languages such as English, German or Chinese with each translation set residing in its own bundle. Okay. So we can uh, tell uh, have two or more sets of translated strings to support English, German, Chinese with each translation set in its own unique resource bundle and then load bundle appropriate to, to current local that on you are residing in, you are working on that PC and use the strings to construct the program's user interface. Okay. Resource bundle identified by their family name called base name. To the family name can be added a two character lowercase language code. Okay. Likewise, uh, en for English like that. We specify the particular language. If a requested local matches the language code, then that version of the resource bundle is used. Okay. Uh, example, a resource bundle with family name of sample RB would have German version called sample RB DE and Russian version sample RB RU for Russia. Okay. So that if a re uh, requested uh, local matches that language code, particular language code, which is of two characters long, then that version of resource bundle is used. Underscore links the family name to the language code. Okay. If the local is local.german, sample rb.de will be used. Okay. It is also possible to indicate specific variants of a language that relate to a specific country by specifying country code after the language code. Okay. So there is one more option available to indicate specific variant of a language particular to that country. A country code is a two character uppercase identifier such as AU for Australia and IN for India. Country code is also preceded by an underscore when linked to the resource bundle name. A resource bundle that has only the family name is the default bundle. It is used with no language specific bundles are applicable. Okay. Country code is also preceded by underscore. And when no language specific bundles are applicable, resource bundle has only family name. The language codes are defined by ISO standard 6639 and the country codes by ISO standard 3166.
methods defined by this whole bundle. Now we will see in the table. Null keys are not allowed here, and several of the methods will throw null pointer exception if null is passed as the parameter or key. Notice the nested class resource bundle dot control. It was added by Java 6 and is used to control the resource bundle loading process. So, what is that resource bundle dot control? It is used to control resource bundle loading process. Two subclasses of resource bundle are available. First is property resource bundle which manages resources by using the property files and property resource bundle have no its own method. Second is abstract class list resource bundle which manages resources in an array of key value pair. So first is property resource bundle which manages resources by property file and second is list resource bundle for key value pair. This resource bundle adds the method get contents which all subclasses must implement. Okay, so it is abstract class so that whatever methods it is having, they must be implemented. Shown here, protected abstract object, two-dimensional array, get contents and it have key value pair for that purpose. First is for key, first bracket, is, that is the column and second is row for the particular key and value pair. Now we will have the method defined by resource bundle. Okay, first is static file, final void clear cache. Delete all resources bundle from the cache that were loaded by the default class loader. By default class loader added by Java 6. Okay, static final void clear cache class loader idea loader. Delete all resources bundle from the cache that were loaded by LDR. Boolean contains key string key returns true if key is key within the invoking resource bundle or its parent added by Java 6. Static final resource bundle get bundle string family name. Load the resource bundle with the family name of family name using the default local and the default class loader. Throw the missing resource exception if no resource bundle matching the family name specified by family name is available. Okay, so these are different different methods. Static final resource bundle get bundle string family name local local loads the resource bundle with the family name of family name using the specified local and the default class loader throws missing resource exception if no resource bundle matching the family name specified by family name is available. Static resource bundle get bundle string family name local and class loader loader loads the resource bundle with the family name of family name using the specified local object and a specified class loader. Throws missing resource exception if no resource bundle matching the family name specified by family name is available. Okay. You have to remember those exceptions. Static final resource bundle get bundle string family name resource bundle dot control control loads the resource bundle with the family name of family name using the default local and the default class loader. The loading process is under the control of control. Throws missing resource exception if no resource bundle name matching the family name specified by family name is available added by Java 6. Static final resource bundle get bundle. String family name local object resource bundle control object. It loads the resource bundle with the family name of family name using the specified local and default class loader object. The loading process is under the control of control. Throws missing resource exception if no resource bundle matching the family name specified by family name is available added by Java 6. Static resource bundle get bundle string family name local class loader resource bundle control loads the resource bundle with the family name of family name using the specified local and the specified class loader. The loading process is under the control of control. Throws missing resource exception if no resource bundle matching the family name specified by family name is available added by Java 6. Abstract enumeration string get keys returns the resource bundle keys as an enumeration of string. Any parent keys are also obtained. Local get local returns the local supported by resource bundle. Final object get object string key returns the object associated with the key passed via key. Throws missing resource exception if key is not in the resource bundle. Final string get string string key returns the string associated with the key as passed via key. Throws missing resource exception if key is not in the resource bundle. Throws class class exception if the object associated with key is not a string. Okay. You are passing the key as a string and it is not a string, then it will uh, page or tell the 
स्ट्रिंग क्लास का सेक्शन फाइनल स्ट्रिंग एरे गेट स्ट्रिंग एरे स्ट्रिंग की रिटर्न द स्ट्रिंग एरे एसोसिएटेड विद द की पास बाय अ की थ्रू इज मिसिंग द रिसोर्स एक्सेप्शन इफ की इज नॉट इन द रिसोर्स बंडल थ्रू इज क्लास का सेक्शन इफ दैट इज ऑब्जेक्ट एसोसिएटेड विद द की इज नॉट अ स्ट्रिंग एरे प्रोटेक्टेड एब्स्ट्रैक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट हैंडल गेट ऑब्जेक्ट स्ट्रिंग की रिटर्न द ऑब्जेक्ट एसोसिएटेड विद द की पास बाय अ की रिटर्न नल इफ की इज नॉट इन द रिसोर्स बंडल प्रोटेक्टेड सेट स्ट्रिंग हैंडल की सेट रिटर्न द रिसोर्स बंडल की दैट इज द सेट ऑफ स्ट्रिंग नो पेरेंट्स की आर ऑप्टेड Also, keys with null values are not obtained. Added by Java six. Set string key set returns the resource bundle key as a set of string. Any parent key are also obtained. Added by Java six. Protected void set parent release set resource bundle. Uh, sorry. Protected void set parent resource bundle parent set parent as a parent bundle for the resource bundle when a key is looked up. Then parent will be searched if the key is not found in the invoking resource object. It returns two-dimensional array that contains key value pair that represent resources. Key must be string. Okay, so key particularly will be string and second value are typically string but can be other type of object too. Now we will see how to use resource bundle and has a family named sample RB. Two resource bundle classes of this family are created by extending this resource bundle. Okay, the first is called sample RB and it is a default bundle which is used in English. Okay. As a local, then sample RB extends list resource bundle and get contains returning key value uh, pair array object array resources new object three two okay so three and two three rows two columns title my program stop text stop start text start okay and then returning the resources. Second resource bundle extending list resource bundle as well. It's called sample RB DE. It contains the German translation. Okay, so first is having um, no translation here, and second is sample RB DE German translation extends list resource bundle here also title main program start stop text and start text. Okay, so following program demonstrate these two resources by display string associated with the Key as uh, both having English and German version. English version string for title key. Okay, resource bundle R D get bundle R B. So this is the main method. Is it? It is getting the bundle sample R B and sample R B D. Okay, so sample R B will give you English version title stop text start text. For German bundle, it has to load the get the sample R B local dot German. Okay, so it will give the German translation. String for title key, stop text key, start text key. Output is string for title key. This is the output for English version, and this is the output for German version. Okay. Now we will see miscellaneous uh, utility classes and interfaces. Those are remaining. We will see event listener proxy extends the event listener class to allow additional parameters. See chapter twenty two that is upcoming for discussion of event listener. Event listener is separate. Vast topic we will see in, in detail. Event object the super class for all event classes. Events are discussed in chapter twenty two. Formatable flags defines formatting flags that are used with the formatable inter interface. Property permission manages property permission. Service loader provides a means for finding service providers. Added by Java six. UUID encapsulates and manages universally unique identifiers. Event listener indicates that a class is an event listener. Events are discussed in chapter twenty-two. That is upcoming chapter. Formatable interface enables a class to provide custom formatting. Okay. Now we will see some packages. Some packages: Java util concurrent, Java util concurrent atomic, Java util concurrent blocks, Java util jar, Java util logging, Java util preferences, Java util regex, Java util SPI, Java util zip. Each is briefly examined here. Okay. So util concurrent, concurrent atomic, concurrent blocks, all from concurrent uh, packages. Along with it, two packages, atomic and blocks, support concurrent programming. These packages provide a high performance alternative to using Java's built-in synchronization feature. Okay. So atomic and blocks give you high performance alternative for synchronization. When thread set operation is required, these packages are examined in detail in the upcoming chapter. Jar package provides the ability to read and write Java jar files, RQ files. Okay, 
logging package provides support for program activity logs which can be used to record program action and to help find anti bug problems java util preferences okay logging is like um, program action heads error coming in which line what thing is happening like debugging and uh, those we have seen how to debug like in eclipse for debugging that is console available debugging has a separate process also and this type of debugging can be done or supported by this package java java.util.login java.util.preferences package provides support for user preferences it is typically used for support program configurations regex package provides support for regular expression handling so those we have seen in 27 chapter spi package provides support for service providers okay and it is added by java 6 zip package provides the ability to read and write files in a popular zip and gzip format both zip and gzip input output streams are available okay so this way we have completed successfully more utility classes okay theory part in the next session we will start with the practical and if possible we will try to finish all the practical examples in one to two sessions itself okay so meet you in the next session with the practical example same practical example those we have seen in theory part thank you so much